Hello and welcome to this video where I am on the shores of the absolutely stunning Loch Don on the Isle of Mull. I have literally just been dropped off by Tim and I've got a couple or so hours where I can do a bit of a photography walk and hopefully I'm crossing everything that I'm going to see an otter. We're basically here on the boat for one night so I've got tonight and tomorrow morning to hopefully find and photograph some otters. That's the dream. The reality may be different, but we are going to try. So um, you can probably hear, there's a lot of oyster catchers in this area. And I think I've got a really good photo of one actually flying towards me, which uh, it looks okay on the camera. So I'm thinking it should be all right. So pretty happy with that straight out of the bag. Um, but yeah, what we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna go and walk. I think I'm gonna walk up the lock and hopefully, like I said, see some otters. We will see. So the tide here on Loch Don is actually on the way out. I'm about, I think, three or so hours before low tide. So I'm hoping this is going to be a good time to see the otters. And my plan is basically to um, walk a bit, <laughs> look through the uh, binoculars and then walk a bit more because uh, they're going to be hard to spot because I'm looking for a ball of brown in amongst <laughs> the brown and dark green seaweeds and rock so it's not going to be an easy task that's for sure and that's if they're even here like I'm, I'm just hoping that they are it seems like this should be a good place for them um big lock it's not by any like main roads or anything i don't think there's a lot of footfall here um there's definitely not in the way of boats because it's not an ideal place it's quite hard to anchor here um, so hopefully, well, it's got all the makings of having them, let's put it that way. Well, no signs just yet. I can see a grey heron way off uh, around that part of the lock, but we are going to be heading up there. And basically, I'm not sure how wide the shot is, but you can see hopefully, or like the dark green seaweed bit. So I can walk all the way up there. And if we don't get lucky, I can then walk down the other way. I just literally just bumped into some seals that were just on the shore here. Unfortunately, I wasn't fast enough to get some images before they plunged into the water. Um, but I did get some photos of them once they were in. And so I'm going to leave them now and hope that when I come back this way, they might have hauled out again. We might be able to get some pictures of them quite close up whilst they're on the land. So there are like nine, I think, oyster catchers over on this one rock and they're making a hell of a racket. Ooh. 
So this is high up. I don't think I've ever done a deer fence style before. Oof. There we go. Ah. One obstacle done. Having got to this point, I'm not too sure if this is the best option. However, I'm going to go and continue with this decision and uh, hope I don't fall in an invisible bog or get stuck. Well, all I can say is that I'm definitely going to have to do a tick check after this. waters yet and there are a couple of sort of ducks I'm not too sure I can't they're quite far away so I'm, I can't identify what sort of duck they are but they look like a duck um, so we've got those out there and a little further out there's still that heron um, so yeah just gonna grab our stuff and keep going And before anyone puts it in the comments, I know this coat's not an ideal colour for this, but my only options were this one or my bright yellow one. I didn't have room on the bow camo coat with me. And uh, so this, I think, was the lesser of two coats. <laughs> I don't know, but this is what we're going for. So a lovely little meadow pippet there because I've got a few photos of that which I think they come out right oh it's just stopped on this rock let's see if we can get another photo that was a nice little encounter they're very sweet little birds those meadow pippets uh, there's quite a few here it looks like just following me along um, but I'm going to continue in my search for the elusive otter. Uh, still no otter sightings, but I have found where all the geese are living, there is an abundance of goose poo on this entire walk, and I haven't seen a single goose, but they are just over here so there's Canada geese and uh, just like maybe some grey lag geese as well so hopefully we'll be able to get some photos of those uh, there are some cows ahead which I've got to say not fond of a cow <laughs> so um, and they're right on the shore so I'm not too sure how much farther we're going to be able to go because uh, I really don't fancy my chances against the cow but We'll go a little bit further, see if we can get some photos of the geese at least, and then make some plans from there. So after a little searching on the internet, I believe that these birds are actually a red-breasted meganza. So I've decided I've actually 
going to wuss out against the cows. There's quite a few of them and they've got calves and I just don't want to get caught up in any of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back and hope that those seals, I think I can see them on the point, uh, are back near shore and see if I can sneak up on them and get some photos. And then depending on the time when I get back to where Tim dropped me off, I might go down the other way of the lock a little bit as well, see if we have some more luck down that way. So I've seen the heron from earlier in this walk. It's back down this way. Um, it's still really far away. So I've managed to get a little bit of video of it. Oh, this is boggy. So anyway, yes, I've managed to get a little bit of video of it. This bit's really awkward. It's both slippery and uneven, so it's not ideal. Right, so I'm almost back at the boat now and I've contacted my dialer rides to, to come and get me from the shore. Uh, I haven't really seen too much coming on uh, back to the boat. Uh, I did see a common ring plover, which was nice, uh, but nothing, nothing else really. And I think what I thought were some seals are actually some rocks. <laughs> so not ideal, but yeah, it's actually coming into rain now. So I think to, this is where I'm gonna call it today. And then in the morning, we'll go that way. And uh, hopefully, uh, have some better luck than what we have had today. <laughs> so welcome to another morning here on Loch Dunn on the Isle of Mull. Now I have just rowed myself to shore and hauled the dinghy up. I might have been a bit overcautious with how far I've pulled it up, but I don't want it to float away because we have had that happen on this trip. <sighs> plan is hopefully this morning we will find some otters um, I've only got till like 11 o'clock so I've got about 45 minutes to walk that way and then 45 minutes to come back so I've got about an hour and a half before I have to get back to the boat uh, I was hoping to have some more time this morning but it's been quite wet and rainy and it's sort of only just brightened up enough to come out so we're hoping and crossing everything that we're going to see some otters this morning. So that is enough jabbering on. Let's go and hopefully find some otters. So I'm thinking maybe this way wasn't the best option to come, but I'm going to go with it. Uh, basically, I've got to a point where basically this is low tide. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get out earlier than low tide. But what that means is that this area, other than there's like a river, I think that enters into the lock here. It's all uh, mud flats and I don't want to walk across it because I'm going to have to go across that river and I don't know how deep it is. So I've got to go up and then down to go around it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, hopefully it won't take too long. Um, no signs of anything really just yet. Um, I'm starting to think I might have just been a bit too hopeful <laughs> of seeing otters here. Everything I read is like, oh, there's otters everywhere on Mull. And uh, so far, we've not seen any. It is what it is. And uh, hopefully, not giving up hope yet, we've only just set out, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We will see, and that's all we can do at the end of the day. I can't make wildlife appear where it does not live. So in some of the uh, mud prints, in the uh, whoop, um, mud <laughs> here, um, there looks to be some like cloven hooves. Now I'm not too sure if that's a deer, or a sheep because there are sheep over the other side. I've not seen any here though. Um, so maybe we might get lucky and see a deer. Who knows? <laughs> Probably not, but I can hope. So I've come up 
away from the lock side so I don't have to go through the mud and what I worry about is like quick mud I don't want to get stuck because uh, Tim's got nowhere to come and get me so um, I'm trying to make my way through or oh, around the top of it and uh, it's just as boggy up here so it's like peat bogs um, but I think I prefer my chances up here then down there although it doesn't look too bad now I just got to try and find a way to get back down and then over the other side So I did just get a brief glimpse of a common sandpiper, which was nice. I didn't see one of those yesterday. So I got a few photos of that when it was in the tree and then it moved off onto some rocks. I got a little very, very short clip of it there, but a clip nonetheless. So I'm working my way back up the other side of that really uh, dried out area. Um, hopefully we'll see something soon if we see anything at all So still no sightings of anything just yet and it has just gone past my 45 minute alarm. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk, there's like a little stone and wood fence just above here. So I think what I'm going to do is walk up to that, have a peer over and uh, if I can't see anything, I think I might have to admit defeat and just head back to the boat. So um, let's cross everything that there is something on the other side of this fence. It's also coming into rain now, which uh, isn't ideal for my walk back, but hopefully it's just a little shower. So I have made it here up to the fence and I've had a look over through the binoculars and I really can't see anything so I think what I'm going to do is admit defeat and yeah just call my time there on this little adventure walk that we've been on this morning. The only thing I can really see around here are the oyster catchers which are lovely but I already have an awful lot of images from them from this trip. So. Yeah, I am quite gutted that I haven't seen any otters here on Mull. I really was hoping for it, but that's the way of it with wildlife photography. You can't magic up animals if they're not there. Yeah, I mean, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, you may also enjoy this video. Well, this is going to be a tough road back.